Are we rolling? Yeah, so I took our discount calculation formula, which is about 1100 characters long, and I made it 80% shorter. So I shrunk the formula. Here, let me show you. So here are the discount rules. For customers in India, UK or USA, if the order quantity is between 200 to 999 boxes and the category is either bars or bytes, for the first time customers, we are giving 3% discount and for repeat customers, we are giving 4% discount. And then the rules kind of go further down. Sometimes the rules have individual category level detail. Sometimes there is no category mentioned and that goes on for Canada and New Zealand, Australia as well. As you can imagine, if I have to calculate the discount percentage based on the information here, I would write a really massive confusing formula. In fact, I already did. This is just for the India, USA, UK condition alone. Let's build this complex if formula first. And then I'm going to show you a ridiculously simple formula that can give you the results easily. If you observe my data here, we have everything except the category. For that, we do have a table where my products and the categories are maintained. I'm going to use the let function and create a variable called cat, which holds the category name by doing the lookup. So X lookup drinking cocoa in my products table name column and gets the product category. And now I can refer to cat anytime I need to do that lookup. As our formula is quite long, I'm going to use Alt Enter to type it in multiple lines. The first thing that we need to check is the country option because there will be multiple conditions. I'm going to use the ifs function and then we're going to check or location is equal to India. As I'm writing this formula, I realize that I need to constantly look at the rules which are on the other page here. This can be a bit of hassle. So what I can do is go to the view ribbon and then click on new window, which will open a duplicate window of the same Excel workbook. And then in this window, I can go to the rules page, move this Excel file to my second monitor. You can't see it, but it is there. The next thing is we would like to know the order quantity. So one more alt enter, and this time we are doing one more ifs and then end. Then we are going to check for if my category is either bars or bytes or cat equal to bars cat. Equal to bytes. Then we need to check if customer status is equal to new. At this point, we are giving them 3% discount. You can type the number here. Alternatively, I like to point it to our rule table. That way, if the values change, I can just update the table without having to modify my formula. And I'll make this an absolute reference. If they are not a new customer, then the discount code from F8 will apply. And then we close this if formula. If the category is neither of these, then they're going to get a zero discount. Next, we need to check the next tier of order quantities. So here again, I'll use Alt Enter to get into a new line and then write one more end condition. Okay, let's just speed this up. Let's see if this is working. Here are the rules and USA will fall into this bucket. The order quantity is 693. So that is clearly between 200 to 999 and then bars and bytes category repeat customer is getting 4%. So that works out all right. All of these are from Canada, New Zealand, Australia. We have not built the rules for that. That's why my ifs functions are giving an error. Um, but you can clearly see that this is really tedious to develop, maintain and manage. So then I got thinking, you know, wouldn't it be better to rewrite these rules in a more manageable format? So that's what I have done. I shrunk the formula. So here is the rules rewritten page. It keeps the rules in a simpler format. So here you can see that the country India, USA, UK 200 to 999, whether they're in bars or bytes category for new customers, 3% for repeat customer, 4%. I use this table to make a shorter, better formula. Let's take a look at this. We start with the same cat thing but add a star at the beginning and end. And then we use the sumifs function to get the discount. 
we start by taking the discount column and adding it up where the country has D5 value and the stars ensure that it will add up any other countries too as long as D5 is present. And category is same as cat, customer time piece same as whatever is in E5 plus the pattern and the quantity from uses these less than or equal to symbol and greater than or equal to symbol to check which from and to range matches the discount category. So this sum ifs function, one function alone shrinks all of those if formulas to a simple calculation. How awesome is that? Sum ifs is not only good for shrinking long formulas into short ones, it can also do other awesome things with your data. Here is a video that talks about those things. I'll catch you there. Bye.